Good morning, dear lighted ones. This is Joanna from Universal Unity, and today we will be talking about and spiraling within the energy and the essence of spiraling with love. That's usually the conversations that we entangle with. Those are usually the concepts that we entangle with, and we're going to take it to a deeper level, and we're going to spiral in the essence for we have allowed ourselves to understand that many of our discussions, many of our gatherings, many of our communions allow for great activations, allow for great changes and shifts within all that you are as a body, mind, and spirit, multidimensional being of light within your own light field, within the light field of the all. And therefore, as we gather, as we allow our hearts to open and our feet and our pillar of light to be grounded within the sands and soils of Gaia, we allow that sacred alignment between the sacred heart center, which is where our God particle exists, which is where our relationship and our partnership with Mother, Father, God exist, in all the molecules and cells and aspects of our biological systems within the physical vessel of all that we are, coming to life with this openness and essence just with the pure intention that we set. And I often get asked, how do I move about growing in self-love? How do I move about growing in what I choose to create and manifest with great clarity and knowingness? And it's truly about the understanding about who you are as a whole being within the whole of creation and allowing yourself to be the master creator of it all. Understanding that your cells are listening. Understanding that your biochemical and biophysical functions are listening to you as you speak, as you create powerful intention to swim and spiral with love. And although we are within a reality that is moving through profound transformative shifts, each and every one of us can create a change, a shift, a difference. We each have the potential and the power and the skill and the intelligence to spiral within potentials beyond our imagining, each and every one of us. We are gifted with the same toolkit we are all gifted with the same God cell, that spark of light that allows all aspects of the divine to come to life and move through us. The essence, the feelings, the subtleties of energy can be felt in all ways. Make no mistake about that. And why we often say, from the movement of discussion into activation, one can sense the subtleties, one can sense the difference. When something clicks, when something comes alive, there's a difference, there's a feeling. And we can create the analogy of falling in love. There are those that we have been partnered with where the feelings and the sensations are just different. And you can feel it. You can feel the sensations, the depth, the richness, the expansiveness, the growth. Humanity desires in all ways to come alive. We will spiral within this aliveness. We will spiral within the gifts of all that we are blessed with. For that's truly how you create, always has been and always will be. The heart within us all is the great magnifier and attractor. And as we've talked about in many times, what you do in every day, how you do your pathwork and set aside time for yourself, creates the alignment, creates the clarity and the knowingness about who you are within creation. In every morning that you sit down to create sacred communion time, sacred pathwork time with spirit, you create the map, the path of what you experience. Who are you? What energies, what experiences, what expressions do you desire to create with spirit in any one given moment? Masters, moment for moment, how do I choose to create in this moment of now? What experiences, what expressions of love can I emit, can I imbue, can I receive in this moment of now? How may I gift the essence of all that I am becoming in every new moment? with greater clarity and passion and purpose so that I follow this thread of aliveness, this thread of greatness that grows and expands and oscillates and accelerates in new ways. 
and the sacred alignment with the sacred mind, the higher self, the universal mind, with breath, creating the inspirations and enlightenments at a universal level, at a divine level, then creating intention and focus to bring those wisdoms and insights down through the sacred heart, marriage and communion with your partnership with Mother, Father, God. In this focused intent and visualization of bringing breath and wisdoms and insights from the universal mind, from the sacred mind, down through your sacred heart, allows you to create even greater self-clarity, greater self-knowing, for you understand that you are entangled with the all. Your breath is entangled with the all. You are alive within the all. It's a never-ending cycle of love. Cycles moving cycles, breath moving breath, love moving love. Creating new breath, creating new cycles, creating new love. And in any one given moment, you change and shift and alter, and you create instantaneous, simultaneous communion with your heart center in all things. How do I feel in this moment of now? How do I choose to move about life in this next moment with what I now know? The process of ascension and awakening and enlightenment is very simple, dear ones. It's ever changing to a lighter status, bringing wisdom from what you know to be true. That's when you create the transference of knowledge to wisdom, when you act upon what you know with love and compassion and the attributes that we are all gifted from the divine. Compassion, patience, righteousness, devotion, commitment, love. We are here to expand and come alive in new ways. Self-clarity, self-knowingness, spirals in the whole concept of self-love. For as you desire to seek and create self-knowing, you create self-love. For if you did not desire to get to know thyself, the love exists within it. You spiral within this new knowledge. You spiral within this aliveness to know who you are in every given moment. And as choices are presented to you in every moment, you have greater clarity to act upon what your heart desires to experience, to spiral in excitement, to spiral in your passions to express through creativity and joy and partnership with others. And as we follow these threads, of new aliveness. We expand in ways that we could have never imagined because our heart threads, our heart guides, our heart palpitates and shows us all that we desire, all that we need, all that will manifest our destiny, why we've come here. Each and every one of us are different and unique. And so it should be. All teachers are different. They are unique. And so it should be. For we are all teachers and students. We are all learning and mirroring to one another the depths of the lessons and the beauty and the bliss that we are now awakened to. And that's why this is such a rich process. For in the mirroring and in the oscillation of the aliveness to love, the aliveness to our divinity, the aliveness to our creatorhood, the aliveness with our partnership with Mother, Father, God, which is new for humanity. We are shown an infinite number of perspectives that we spiral in love, we spiral in beauty, we spiral in our inspirations to show one another all that we are, you inspire me to entangle at greater depths. 
For when you allow yourselves to entangle and gather in these etheric chambers, you bring your richness, you bring your uniqueness, you bring your creativity, you bring your teams, you bring your universal potentials that you are unaware of, but that you are awakening to, and that's why you are here. For if you were not aware that you had potentials outside your imagining, you would not have felt the desire to entangle. For there was something in the higher aspects of all that you are, whether it be within your biophysical vessel that felt inspiration and excitement, the God particles are talking to one another, click play, click play. There's something you need to hear. And even within the silence, there is light encoding, there is divine breath, gifting you with love for you to know your aliveness with God. Your ability and your skills and your capacity and your intelligence to know thyself in every moment. And you hold that dear to your heart and you move forward with life and you say, I know what I'm doing. This is my path and I am carving it with profundity, with clarity, with knowingness that I am a divine child of God and I may light my way infinitely and I may choose to change and shift, transform, but I will always spiral in love, always. For I now know that my heart is the attractor, is the magnifier, is the manifester of all things. And in my knowingness of this, I spiral even greater self-clarity. And my light field expands into the awe. For I understand that my breath is entangled with the universe. My breath is entangled with Gaia, with the elementals, with the trees and the grass and the stars and the sea. As you spiral in your love and your light field, dear ones, your knowingness is what you create it to be. Choice by choice, moment for moment. What experience, what depth of love, what richness may I bring to the table in this moment of now so that I may spiral a new thread of potentiation. You are the heartbeat of the divine, dear ones. From the moment of your inception, as the creators breathed you into existence, you've lived many lives all over the universe, the multiverse. You span great distances. You span great dimensions. The heart of God, the heart of the creators, is within every breath, it's within every heartbeat that pounds beneath your skin and bones. This is your spiral of aliveness. That's your core knowingness that you are a part of. And when the divine creatorhood lives through you, you expand and soften in such beautiful ways that all that you speak and all that you do and all that you experience becomes golden and profound because the divine becomes alive within you and you're aware of it. You're conscious of it. And you become the ripple throughout creation You become a new spark within a new dimensional frequency. And you light the ways for all those. For they sense your frequency, they sense your vibration, they see your light. And 
and your wisdoms and your intent and your clarity and your creativity come to life. And you spiral within new groups. You spiral within new love. You spiral within new experiences. For that's how creation works. Is your heart open just enough to receive the synchronicities that the divine is always gifting to those that are ready? The frequencies of the open heart, the frequencies of divine expectation and love and your commitment and devotion to share it and imbue it and know it. Is your heart ready to let go and create love in new ways, to break the walls and the barriers and the boundaries and the beliefs and the behaviors and the patterns that you've held yourself behind? Will you dare to be loved in this moment of now? Will you dare to let the divine reach down and comfort you in the moments that you release pains of the past? For you are so much worthy of the love that mother and father have for you. And your worthiness is starting to ache for it. That's when you know you have shifted in frequency, dear ones. When it goes from a discussion to an activation. When the particles begin to experience love within you. And the softening and the deepening and the richness of all that you are comes to life. For it has been touched by the divine. And it becomes you. It spirals with you. And your own divine creatorhood comes to life. All aspects of this loving experience, dear ones, all aspects of change, all aspects of manifestation, all aspects of spiritual and energetic profundity begin and flow and exist and spiral within your sacred heart center. It is the portal of love. It is the portal of your divinehood. In all that you manifest, in all that you create, in all that you choose to move upon, the divine, the creators, universal wisdoms, all is accessible to you. Right here, right now, spiraling within your divine sacred heart center. Allow your intention and your focus to drop to your sacred heart. Open to the new cycles, open to the new inspirations, open to the new potentiation. The entire universe has always offered are you now active with it? Are you now tuned in and beating with it? The pulse of your heart quickens. For it's excited to know and understand that you are threaded and sewn and divinely entangled with the creators in all things. Soak within this spiral of love, dear ones, for you are a divine creator and a master beyond your imagining. Have it come to life. Love it. Ask it to show itself to you. Ask it to come alive for you. Trust in it with unconditional love. You know what you are doing. You are a divine creator. You are now ready 
Move about your path, move about your world as a new being of divine living light. Know that you are spiraling in new frequencies and oscillations. For you are magnified and amplified in every way with divine love. And you will create in this light. And you will ground in this light. And you will manifest all that is profound. You are now moving on a new thread, dear lighted ones. May you feel the depth of your own self, the richness and width of it all. For you are loved unconditionally and blessed beyond your imagining. Spiral in this, be it, emit it, express it. Create joy and fun and bliss. And know that you are infinite and limitless, indestructible, colorful and beautiful, creative and intelligent and wise. You are so utterly profound, a divine child of God. Amen. You are dearly loved, dear lighted ones, and thank you for allowing us to spiral in this beautiful universal love light. May you enjoy your path, may you enjoy your heart, may you enjoy your self-love and spiral within it, for it is the magnifier and amplifier of all things. Create your knowingness, create your clarity about who you are, what you desire to feel, what you desire to experience, express and manifest in all ways. All moments are new, all moments are different. Create your self-love in all that you are and honor it and keep it dear for you are to creation a dear child of love and of light